There's a lot worse things than dying. And living like a slave is one of those. Thank you very, very much. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. now wins applause from libertarians by criticizing government lockdowns, deficit spending, and saying America shouldn't police the world. It made me want to interview him. So I did. Why are you superior to the other two guys? The really existential issues, neither of them can talk about. And that's what I'm talking about, the, the, the national debt. President Trump said that he was going to balance the budget, and instead he, he spent more money than every president in United States history. Biden is on track now to beat him. Exciting as it is to hear you talk about saving us by cutting the debt, I just don't hear the details. And when I look at your campaign videos. I'm going to restore affordable home ownership to every American. Imagine that you had a rich uncle who was willing to co-sign your mortgage. Well, I'm going to make Uncle Sam that rich uncle. I'm going to create a federal program that backs mortgages at 3%. You're going to add new things. That's not going to add anything to the debt. That's a giveaway. Well, that's not a giveaway. Every dollar that I spend as president is going to go toward building our economy. When the debt is this large, you cannot cut your way out of it. You have to cut dramatically, and I'm going to do that. But and where? I, 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 I'm going to cut the military in half. $800 billion now? We'd cut to $400 cut it, billion? Well, I cut, it, cut it to about $500 billion during my first four years. We are not the policemen of the world. What would you do about Ukraine? All right, I would negotiate a peace. Stop giving any money to Ukraine? Putin asks almost every time he's in public, to negotiate. Biden has never talked to Putin about this, and it's, it's criminal. He never answered whether he'd continue giving money to Ukraine. He did answer about Israel. Keep giving arms and money to Israel? Yes, of course we should. You don't want to cut this spending. What would you cut? Well, the, the Israel's spending is rather minor, and I'm going to pick the most wasteful programs, and I'm going to put them all in one bill, and I'm going to send them to Congress with an up-and-down vote. I'm going to eliminate almost all the functions of the Department of Education. Why not kill the whole department? I would keep the research function of that because we want to know how kids are doing. Kennedy's small cuts would hardly slow our path to bankruptcy, especially since he also wants new environmental spending. Once you made a speech saying, Next time you see John Stossel or Glenn Beck, these flat earthers, these corporate toadies lying to you, this is treason and that we need to start treating them now as traitors. Now, I don't really think you want to have me executed for treason, but maybe you do. My argument was that it's not a crisis. We can adjust to climate change. That statement that I made is not a statement that I would make today. Good. Well, I think you wouldn't be talking if it were. Well, I would be talking anyway, because I'll talk to anybody. I think climate is existential. I think it's human cause, the climate change, but... I don't insist other people believe that. I'm arguing for free markets, and then the lowest cost providers should prevail in the marketplace, and I believe those will be the most efficient, which means the least polluting providers, but we should end all the subseasons and let the market dictate. Let the market dictate. That sounds pro-liberty. But wait, last year he tweeted he'd ban fracking. He then walked that back, saying he'd merely phase it out. But why? Fracking's reduced U.S. greenhouse gas emissions by replacing dirtier fuels. Kennedy even fights some wind power. When a company proposed a wind farm near your home, you and your family opposed it. Seems hypocritical. I oppose offshore wind anywhere. Except, you know, in places where it's not going to do any damage. But, it, you know, right now we're exterminating the right whale in the North Atlantic through these wind farms. Exterminating the right whale? I think he was more honest years ago when he complained, these turbines will be seen from Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket. They'll steal nighttime views. Greenpeace then attacked his family with this ad. Why would we build it offshore when you can? When we got the best wind on earth in our country? And although Kennedy says he wants a free market in energy, you have a solar plant that got a government guaranteed loan, big one. Yeah, I built a lot of solar plants. Why should you get a My government subsidy? Is, if you're creating a new industry, you're competing with the Chinese. You want the United States to own pieces of that industry, which is going global. Despite Kennedy's support for. Big government programs that Democrats like, 
Democrats have repeatedly sued to keep him off the ballot. He's a dangerous nutcase. Former Clinton Labor Secretary Robert Reich made this video. But his vision for our future is tainted by his endorsements of hateful conspiracy theories. Reich claims that this RFK tweet mentioning the numbers 14 and 88 shows a secret Nazi allegiance. You're sending out Nazi dog whistles? He's been kind of really not in touch with reality and completely unwilling to kind of engage me. He won't debate you? No, nobody will. None of them will. They won't have me on any of their um, networks. Well, obviously, we will debate here at Stossel TV. I disagree with Kennedy about a lot, but I'm glad he'll talk to those of us who disagree. In a few weeks, I'll air our full interview. We talked for an hour arguing about many things, like nuclear power, which he opposes, and his claim that modern chemicals poison us, especially vaccines. You convinced people not to get the measles vaccine. An outbreak resulted in 83 deaths. Well, that story is not true. To hear more about that, subscribe below and hit the notification bell. Thank <laughs> you.